So if you put your hand in front of the sensor, it changes colors. Okay. This plays the Jaws theme. <laughs> this one um, turns it into a BattleBot. So what does the BattleBot do? Um, it's the one where it charges people. Yeah. No, but you're doing LEDs on board. What's surprising the most has probably been just how busy a student is. Whether it's through classes or just through activities that are put on by the university, I feel like there's never a moment where I sort of feel like I am at a loss for what to do. I can always sort of step in and get involved with something. So I am majoring in Intelligent Systems Engineering. It's the first engineering program at Indiana. Because it's the first year of having engineering, we started the first engineering club, of which I was elected the president. So I have the responsibility to sort of you know, take part in activities such as recruiting people for, for the next few years. Just sort of seeing the, you know, the path that this program could take and the opportunities that we could have as a school, I think that it benefits us all to sort of, you know, to recruit new faces and fresh talent. A large part of my life I've lived near college campuses for a while. We were living up at Notre Dame and then uh, before Bloomington we were at Baylor in Waco, Texas. And so when we moved to Bloomington three years ago, I sort of you know had an interest in the university here. And as I spent my junior and senior year in high school in Bloomington, I sort of got to learn a bit more about um, the campus and the programs they had here. And then uh, ultimately when they announced this new engineering program, I, I was sold. And so I signed up right away. I also work um, at the IU Center for Research in Extreme Scale Technologies, or CREST as we call it. But that's a, a research lab where we develop technologies that are sort of, you know, in the cutting edge of certain fields. So, for example, right now, we're just finishing a project that's a headset that has 16 electrodes around it and it will read the electrical signals from your from your brain. And from that we can plug it into code that we've written and take the signals and use it to control robots. So here. Good to go. It's not the most comfortable thing to wear right now. So that's the path that we're taking at the lab right now. And so it's just the first of a bunch of really great projects that we'll be able to take on in the next four years. One and two. So we're going to do a full repeat. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I don't care if the guitar makes a splat sound. Okay. Okay, Here, one more time. And then you're going to start here soft. I'm involved in several different areas. Before college, I was very involved in music. Uh, I was a classical guitarist, and still am. Um, so now I teach in the Jacobs School of Music Guitar Academy. You learn so much, but you also pick up on you know ways that you would enjoy teaching and ways that really you know hit home with you when you were learning. And so to be able to have the opportunity to spark an interest in another student in the same way that you know my interest was sparked, it's really you know gratifying to sort of see that unfold. Do you have an appointment? No, 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 not with you. With destiny. Cute, but you must make an appointment. Aside from the music and engineering I do, I sort of, as a hobby, sort of side interest, I do a bit of acting. So most recently I was in a, a short film that we just finished filming. Um, it was filmed by Kevin Carpenter. Uh, for a project of his in a class. It was a great opportunity because it was a role that I, a character I hadn't had the opportunity to play before and it was a good opportunity to sort of expand my uh, 
character development <laughs> experience. Still have TiVo. And so getting to bring them to life you know, in a way that you imagine that matches what the director imagines and you know all the other cast members are trying to relate to and interact with, that's fun to, to see and to really bring out. This summer, um, I'll also be working as a counselor for some of the informatics and computing, especially the ISE summer camps. So that will be open to high school students and I'm pretty sure also incoming freshmen. Try this, so. yeah. Are you ready? I got a Go. <laughs> I can entertain myself. Move. Move some. Okay, I'm gonna go into fencing with you. Prepare to die. Oh my. This is a good segue into the first class they'll take. It'll also help them to understand what they may want to pursue later on when they uh, decide on their concentration, um, what kind of focus they want to take. Um, it's a great opportunity for them to, as you know, direct admits, to begin thinking what they want to do with their degree. This data center over here to my left is uh, our research data center. Big Red 2, uh, when it was installed, was um, the fastest university-owned supercomputer. About uh, three months after we dedicated Big Red 2, uh, Purdue announced their supercomputer. <laughs> and it was uh, faster, okay? So for three months, we got to be the fastest. <laughs> I think that engineering gives this fantastic opportunity to sort of progress an entire field in a way that most others can't be. I think that it's got such an opportunity to make a difference, not just in engineering and learning, but in you know so many applications. You think about how many things had to be engineered in today's society and how much they can be improved. I mean, innovation is a huge part of what we do, so that's, that's uh, important to me is to be able to help people in that way.